It's the NBA Live on 2K Sports on this Tuesday afternoon. You'll see Team World and USA. And for as much offense as the All-Star game features, I mean, the Rising Stars Challenge typically gives us even more scoring. I mean, this is an action-packed event year in and year out. And now the opening lineup for Team World. We've got Ben Simmons, Andre Ayton out there with Lowry Markkinen. Then there's Luka Doncic, and it's Bogdanovich in at the shooting guard. And Ayton stays with it. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Ayton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Stolen by Markkinen. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Simmons. That one, no good. So USA will take it the other way. You talked about, Greg, the high scoring in this game over the years, and there have been some incredible totals, often up in the 140s and higher. It was only a few years ago that the winning team, what, scored 163 points. That's right. Yeah, I will never forget that. And uh -uh. it's part of what makes this game so fun. I mean, we don't come to the All-Star Week looking for great defense. We <laughs> want to see these young fellas get out and run. Here's Simmons following the basket by Kyle Kuzma. Doncic finds eight. Lock at six. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. USA ball. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for USA. I love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. Simmons with it. Now guarded by Fox and stolen by Kuzma. High arcing shot, and it's good for two. And I'm not sure if anyone will make some history here tonight, but the Rising Stars Challenge has seen its share of miraculous performances in the past. I'll always remember David Lee going a perfect 14 of 14 from the floor in that 2007 game. Fox passes to Mitchell. To the paint. That's good from Fox on the assist by Collin. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome, absolutely awesome, getting good positioning close to the basket. Well, you talked about David Lee's perfect shooting performance back in 2007. Greg, how about Kyrie Irving bearing oh, wow. all those threes? I think he had, what, eight in 2012. Both those guys earned the MVP awards in those games. And, and no doubt, remarkable nights that were put on display by those guys. Still, if you, if you want to talk about pure explosiveness, though, I think no one has been able to top Kevin Durant's 42-point effort back in 09 in this contest. Phenomenal performance. Yeah. Here's Simmons. After the made shot from John Collins. And now the first time out called here for Team World. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. USA with some changes. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Collins. Kevin Knox comes in for Tatum. And Trey Young subbed in for Fox. Team World also making some changes. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Markinen. Akogi comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Simmons. And he makes that one. 
And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And it's Mitchell missing. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Here's Kuzma. The shot from the low post is good. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here's Doncic following the basket by Kyle Kuzma. Four on the clock. With the shot. It's hauled in by USA. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Ayton. Rebounded by Knox. And, you know, this game has had a lot of different looks to it over the years. I mean, it began as the rookie challenge back in 94, and, and since then we've seen the format change a number of times. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Catching up on the changes for USA. Allen comes in for Jackson, and it's Marvin Bagley in for Kyle Kuzma. OG Ananobi's checked in for Team World. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Team World. They trail by 11. And Aiton stays with it. Oh, and the crowd goes crazy after seeing that finish. Yep, a throw down appropriate for the occasion. That's how to get these fans revved up and excited. Young passes to Allen. Back to Young. Banked in off the glass. Oh, great ball movement there. Team World trails by 11. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Aiton at the elbow. Pass to Okogi. Let's the three fly. Whoa! He got it in! <laughs> How about that? Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And it's USA in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. We've got more NBA basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And, you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. So it's USA now. They've led by as many as 11 points. And, you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. We've got Knox. Donovan Mitchell is out there with Trey Young. Then there's Allen. And it's Bagley in at the four spot. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So, Team World's five right now. Andre Ayton out there with Ananobi. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Osman in at the three slot. USA leading by eight. And here's Young. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. And too long on the shot. Gilgis Alexander passes to Okogi. 
They get a hand on it. Stolen by Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. Here's Hananobi, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Oh, I love that dish down low. Now USA with it. Eight-point game. Let's a floater go. Offensive rebound. Allen. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And Team World calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. with some changes. Tatum comes in for Kevin Knox. And it's Fox in for Donovan Mitchell. A big group substitution here for Team World. Markinen, he's checked in for eight. Odeon Kurups comes in for Jetty Austin. Bogdan Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. And Simmons subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for USA? They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. The first free throw is good. Collins checked in for Allen. Both shots good from the strike. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Young outside. Off target from three-point range. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Bogdanovich has got five points now this quarter. Well, Simmons has what I call see ahead vision. I mean, he sees a play ahead and he's a great passer. Hagley with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. The wide open look here for Fox. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And USA leads by eight. Down low, here's Bogdanovich. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bogdanovich has got seven points. Fox kicks to Tatum. Outside, Bagley. Pass to Fox. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Team World trails by six. Here's Karouche. No good. Great D that time from Bagley. Young with no one around. From outside, off the mark. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Simmons against Fox. Simmons passes to Markinen. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. USA ball. 
Jackson. He's checked in for USA. And a change for Team World. Luka Doncic. He's checked in for Ananobi. And Collins has got the ball here for USA. They've led by as many as 11 points. Jackson dishes to Tatum. Bogdanovich against Young. And stolen by Bogdanovich. 59 seconds left here in the second. Now Doncic. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Simmons, shot clock at five, and he drops in the way up off the glass. You know, what touch from the Australian native, Ben Simmons. I mean, he's so good at staying under control even when facing physical contact. Outside Fox. Outside Collins. Here's Young. Collins trying to break free. And it's Young. That time on the assist by Collins. Yeah, teammate to teammate on the assist that time. Well, the communication between them, that's what we see every game during the regular season, and it's on display here in the All-Star Week as well. Here's Doncic. For the three. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. USA ahead. They lead by six. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Taking a look at USA. Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, they've been rewarded for dumping the ball inside, keeping the defense honest. You have to mix it up. A little bit outside, a little bit inside. Now that separates teams. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage in the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. Here's Mitchell. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. Then it's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Collins in at the five spot. A wide open look here for Kuzma. A three-pointer off the mark. All the time in the world to get that one off. And for Team World, they've got Markinen. Ben Simmons is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Luka Doncic. And it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. On defense, USA. Six-point lead. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Here's Simmons. Five on the clock. Team World needs to get off a shot. Here's Markinen. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. USA leading by six. De'Aaron Fox out there with Mitchell. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Collins, and it's Tatum in at the small forward. 
to Kuzma. Tatum deciding where to go with it. The pass to Fox. And he's good on the three ball. Fox has got the first points of the second half up on the board for USA. Team World trails by nine. And for Team World, we've got Bogdanovich. Doncic out there with Markinen. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Aiton in at the five. Here's Simmons. And the bank shot is good. Simmons got his second basket. Boy, he's a real bully inside. I mean, you forget sometimes that Simmons is 6'9", 6'10", with nice touch. It's a nice combination near the basket. Donjic with the steal. Floats one up. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Donjic has got his first two points. Fox against Simmons. Outside Tatum. There's the three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Team World trails by five. Passes to Markinen. Basket counts. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. So timeout called here, the first for USA. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Checked in for USA. Kevin Knox comes in for Tatum. A big group substitution here for Team World. OG Ananobi's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Osman comes in for Doncic. Akogi's checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Ben Simmons. Here's Mitchell. USA with another miss. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. And the basket by Akogi. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Tipped away. Now, here's Fox. He's got ten. Six on the shot clock. Puts one up from 19. Knox misses. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And, Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Well, let's say the defense being played here tonight might be a, a bit on the soft side for, from both teams. Well, I know you're not surprised, are you? I mean, fast and loose is the way this game should be played. Aiton inside, defended by Allen. Just his first attempt. The shot's good. Yeah, a big part of this run here has been their ability to score from mid-range. Outside, Fox. Pass to Mitchell. Three-pointer. Hands it from downtown. Mitchell's got 10. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here? in the second half. Greg, no question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Here's Osman over to the left wing. Gilgis Alexander passes to Aiton. Here's a Kogi. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw, and USA with some changes. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Marvin Bagley comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Young is subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. And a change for Team World. Karuch is checked in. And he's good on the second. Forty-four seconds left to play here in the third. Outside, Fox to the inside. Here's Jackson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Aiton. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. USA shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Two shots. And that one falls for Jackson. And so Jackson nails both of them. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Bucket is good. Nine points for DeAndre Ayton. And they have picked it up offensively here in the second half. Ball movement, getting high percentage shots. You can definitely see a difference. We've got 13 seconds left here in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Young from outside. That one misses. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. USA leads by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. Bagley is out there with Jackson, and it's Young, and it's Fox, and it's Knox in at the three spot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by USA. Outside, Fox. Young, right side. Back to Fox. Shot clock at six. USA needs to get off a shot. Bagley, no good. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Team World. They trail by three. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's against Young. That one goes in. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Gilgis Alexander's gone two of four from the field. Fox kicks to Bagley. Pass to Knox. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And USA with some changes. John Collins, he's checked in for Bagley. And it's Tatum in for Knox. And a change for Team World. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. Now USA with it. It's a one-point game. Bogdanovich against Fox. And Three. the officials call him for a three-second violation. 
And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Doncic against Tatum. Simmons, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Tell you what, does not matter what the defense throws his way. The heart of Simmons allows him to play through that, and he's still going to knock the shot down. Jackson finds Tatum. Now Collins. USA moving the ball around. Young with the ball. Now defended by Markinen. Jackson misses. Tatum against Doncic. It's blocked, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And USA with some changes. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Jaron Jackson. And it's Mitchell in for De'Aaron Fox. Aiton, he's checked in for Team World. Simmons on the wing, guarded by Kuzma. Here's Markinen, and he gets it to go. Markinen's got the lead up to three now for Team World. Have to give Markinen credit there. Great job time out, time absorbing out. the hit on the shot. The USA calls time here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Young's shot is off. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And they double up Simmons. Here's Aiton. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists now in this one. He is showing signs of maturity in these moments. It's clear that Aiden takes pride in coming through for his team. Will it go? And Young with the nice bucket inside. Game tightening up, no problem. Put the ball in Young's hand and let the young fella go to work. Simmons inside. He's against Young. Shots good by Simmons. Cool as they come, Ben Simmons loves taking these big shots. 143 left to play here in the fourth. Young passes to Kuzma. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Team World. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive glass? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. He hits the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Well, you look at Kuzma, the 27th overall pick in the NBA draft, guys. A multi-talented, confident forward with impressive skill and potential. De'Aaron Fox is checked in for USA. And both free throws good for Kuzma. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. 
outside Simmons. He feeds it to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. How impressive is Doncic? This guy is incredible at stepping up in big moments. Mitchell against Bogdanovich. In the corner. Tatum with it. USA working now with the new shot clock. The kick out to Fox. Kuzma outside. Five to shoot. Now the pass to Mitchell from past the arc. Rebound by Team World. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Boy, Doncic is so good at going at foul. the defense. And when he goes at him like that, it puts the defense in a tough spot. Very crafty. Shooting two. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. You know, early on, Doncic has proven to be a leader. I mean, this guy is somebody that can shoulder the offense and take and make big shots for his team. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. Mitchell against Bogdanovich. Mitchell looking it over. Yes! Kyle Kuzma showing you the killer instinct, which oftentimes is really special, showing you how valuable he is. And now we've got the intentional foul. Shooting two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. You look at Ben Simmons, and it's easy to compare him somewhat to LeBron James because he's a walking triple-double threat every game. And quite honestly, I think he's only going to get better, especially if he adds a jump shot. That's off as well, so he misses both. Can't waste any time here. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick foul. Here's Mitchell. It's good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he is unable to get the second one. And it's Kuzma with the ball for USA. Mitchell against Bogdanovich. Mitchell passes to Kuzma. It falls! And that shot brings them to within just one. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. Cannot time convert out, on out. the second. That misses. The USA calls time here. They're down by two. Nine seconds left in the game.
presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Ben Simmons. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. So a close game sees Team World taking this one. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.